So today we have a nice classical geometrical problem. We take a right angle triangle ABC in which the angle B is 90 degree. Now we draw a square inside this triangle and label its corner as PQRS. Now we mark the center of the square and label this particular point as K. Now we will draw a line segment from the point B to the hypotenuse AC that is passing through the point K and label this particular point as M. Now the question is to find the length of the line segment PM and the line segment AP is having a length 4 cm and the line segment QC is having a length 9 cm. So let us see the solution how can we find the length of PM. So first of all we will try to find the side length of the square. So it was already given that AP is having a value 4 cm and QC is having a value 9 cm. Now we will start the solution by taking angle A equals to theta. Now when we will apply the angle sum property in the triangle ABC, we will get angle C equals to 90 minus theta. So now we will utilize the fact that the quadrilateral PQRS is a square. So from a square we can have two common things. The first thing is all the four sides is equal and we are going to mark it as a variable Y. Now the second thing is that all the four angles are 90 degree. So here also all the corner angles as 90 degree. Now look in this triangle RQC. By applying the angle sum property in this triangle, we will get angle R equals to theta. Now again take the triangle RQC and the triangle ASP. Both these triangles are right angle triangles, so we can easily take the trigonometric ratios. So in the triangle RQC, the value of 10 theta is going to be equals to 9 upon y. And now in the triangle ASP, the value of 10 theta is going to be equals to y upon 4. Now we will compare these two equations so as to get y equals to 6. So here we have got the side length of this square as 6. So here we have replaced y with its value that is going to be equals to 6. Now look in this triangle ASP that is a right angle triangle. We have its height that is 6. We have the base that is 4. So by applying a simple Pythagoras theorem, we will get that the hypotenuse AS is going to have a length 2 times square root of 13. Now by applying the angle sum property in this same triangle, we will get angle S as equals to 90 minus theta. So at point S, we have a straight line, one angle is 90 minus theta, other angle is 90. So by simple simplifications, we will get that the angle BSR is going to have a value theta. Now look in this triangle SBR and take another triangle that is ASP. As these both triangles are again right angle triangles, we can simply compare the trigonometric ratios. So in the triangle SBR, the value of cos theta is going to be equals to SB upon 6 and in the triangle ASP, the value of cos theta is going to be equals to 4 upon 2 times square root of 13. And when we will compare these two equations, we will get that the value of SB is going to be equals to 12 upon square root of 13. So here we have got the value of SB. Now we will draw a perpendicular from the point B to the hypotenuse AC and let that intersection point be equals to L. Now we will take the value of BL as a variable H. So now our goal is to find the value of H. So for that we will take the triangle BLA and another triangle that is ASP. Now in the triangle BLA, the value of sine theta is going to be equals to H that is the perpendicular upon the hypotenuse that is going to be equals to 2 square root of 13 plus 12 upon square root of 13. Now in the triangle ASP, the value of sine theta is going to be equals to perpendicular upon the hypotenuse so 6 upon 2 square root of 13. Now by comparing these two equations, we will get the value of h as equals to 114 upon square root of 13. So here we have got the value of h. Now using this, we will try to find the value of pm. So here we have got the value of h by comparing sine theta in these two triangles. Now if you will compare the values of cos theta in these two triangles, you will get the value of pl as equals to 24 upon 13. Now we will draw a perpendicular from the point k to the base of the square and let that intersection point be equals to n. Now as k is the center of a square, therefore kn would have a length equals to 3. And now we will take the angle kmp as equals to alpha. Now the thing that we have to find is pm let it be equals to x. Now as k was the center, kn ultimately formed a perpendicular bisector for pq thus giving the value of Pn as equals to 3 cm. Now Pn is equals to 3 cm, Pm is having a value x, therefore Nm is going to have a value 
x minus 3 that is longer minus the shorter. Now what can you say about the value of ln? So ln is ultimately pn minus pl. pn is having a value 3 and pl is having a value 24 upon 13. Therefore ln is equals to 3 minus 24 upon 13 that is equals to 39 minus 24 upon 13 that is 15 upon 13. So here we have marked the length of some of the important line segments. Now again we are going to take two right angle triangles and compare the trigonometric ratios. So the first triangle that we will take is the triangle KMN and the other triangle is BML. Now in the triangle KNM we have the angle alpha. So from the perspective of that the value of 10 alpha is going to be equals to 3 upon x minus 3. And in the triangle BLM again we have the angle alpha. So from the perspective of alpha the value of 10 alpha is going to be equals to height and we got the value of h as 114 upon 13 upon the base. Now the total length of the base is ln plus nm. ln is having a value 15 upon 13. nm is having a value x minus 3. Therefore lm is going to be equals to 15 upon 13 plus x minus 3. And now we will compare these two equations and we will get the value of x that is going to be 18 upon 5 centimeter. And that's the answer that we were looking for. So this was my way to solve this particular question. If you have any other method other than this or else if you have any other question that you think I should try, you can email me on this email id or else you can send it to me on my instagram. The link is in the description.